Michael Roth, Technology. Just want to start out by talking about the election. Uh, just kidding. Uh, Titan is an American manufacturer of LED lighting uh, based out of Arizona. So all of our products are made here in the USA. And then locally uh, in Connecticut, we're an approved contractor with both UI and Eversource for their small business energy advantage program. So what we do is we help local businesses convert to LED lighting with an LED lighting retrofit. And what we know we, we will do with every project is improve your lighting, we'll make it brighter, we'll make it more consistent, we'll make it look nice and clean and beautiful. We're gonna eliminate your lighting maintenance. So you know, our customers don't have to call an electrician to change out ballasts. They, uh, they don't have a bunch of burnt out tubes all over the place and have all different colors along their store or their office. Um, our lights are tested to last for over 100,000 hours and our warranties go from five to 12 years. Uh, if there's any, any, ever any issue, you just call us up and we'll, we'll fix it same day, uh, no cost. Um, we also know that we're going to reduce the lighting portion of your electric bill by 45 to 75%. So you, you pay your electric bill based on the wattage of your lights and the hours you use them. Uh, it's pretty difficult to cut your hours in half and work in the dark, but what LED lighting does is it uh, cuts your wattage in half. So just like that, you cut the lighting portion, and it's usually about half the bill will be your lighting. There's going to be other charges. There's going to be air conditioning and other things in your electric bill, but about half of it uh, will be lighting. Uh, one thing we love to do with every project is create a positive cash flow month to month. So typically we'll see at least a break even, meaning the monthly savings are going to be equal to the monthly payment. And as an approved contractor, we put the cost of the project directly onto our customer's electric bill. And they pay it off over 48 months at 0% interest. So it's just another charge on their electric bill. And typically it's offset by the savings. There's an example of a, a negative cash flow. So it's not always going to be the case that they're saving more than they're paying. But in this case, you'll see here their monthly uh, payment is eight dollars more, and uh, so they're in this case over forty-eight months. Their bill would go up uh, by eight dollars every month uh, from what it typically was. Uh, but they have an entire facility worth uh, of brand new lights. And actually, funnily enough, uh, sometimes the negative cash flows are easier to sell because people can wrap their their mind around having a cost. Like, okay, my net cost is eight dollars. I could that makes sense to me. Whereas with the positive cash flow. Um, the, the customer is actually paying themselves to do the project. So while they're paying, in this case, over 44 months, while this customer is paying for the project, the bill is going to drop by $32. And sometimes it, it's uh, just 10 bucks, 30 bucks, or we occasionally it could be $100 a month or a couple hundred dollars a month that they're putting back into their bottom line and they have all brand new lights. Uh, so in the case of, of the total break even, the customer has a choice between just paying for electricity on their bill or paying for less electricity, but also all new lights throughout their entire facility, and it's gonna cost them the same exact thing. Uh, right now, the rebates, uh, as an approved contract, we're qualified for all the maximum rebates. Uh, so typically we see about 25% of the projects paid for uh, if it's a lighting only project. What this chart is talking about is the comprehensive approach. So when you include other energy efficiency measures, uh, the power company will pay for more of the project. And it could be something small like uh, installing programmable thermostats, little aerators on the sinks, or it could be something larger like uh, a new rooftop unit, uh, HVAC unit, could, or it could be making your existing HVAC unit more efficient. Uh, and again, uh, the entire cost of the project can go directly onto the customer's electric bill, 0% interest financing. Uh, so this way, a lot of HVAC projects can be expensive. And rather than outlaying a lot of cash that these small businesses don't have, they can take care of their problem before it gets worse, or they can get ahead of it and, and extend the life of their HVAC unit uh, with no money out of pocket. Couple before and after pictures. So again, if 
if a business owner is faced with a break even and they they have the choice between having their store look like it, it does on the left with the fluorescent lighting or on the right with the bright white clean LED lighting, it's a fairly obvious choice. Uh, that's an indoor example. Here's an outdoor example. Uh, you have the white clean LED lighting and you have the dim yellow. Uh, these would be either metal halide or high pressure sodium lights. Uh, outside, that's how you get that yellow look. I mean, which parking lot would you feel safer walking to your car in? And on the left here, these old yellow lights, these metal halides are going to be wildly inefficient. So any exterior parking lot uh, job is going to be great, great savings, especially because the lights are going to be on about 10 hours to 14 hours during the winter. Um, so if you see these, these would be the metal halides or high pressure sodium, but indoor, if you, these are called high bays. If you see these in a warehouse or an athletic facility or anything like that, uh, just know that's a great prospect for us because we love replacing these. These are wildly inefficient and uh, we can have a really beautiful project. Like I'll show you. So here is the, is worth 1000 watt bulbs in every single fixture. You have dim and yellow and inconsistent lighting. And then we make it nice, bright, and beautiful. It's like they, uh, you can see the lines better. It just, it's crisp, it's clean. And we went from 1,000 watts down to 330. So they're using one third of the power they were. Another example, this is a nice pavilion we did um, after this project. So there's, here's the before and here's your after. Um, the owner of the, the pavilion was telling us that at, a, at his first tour, tournament of the year, people were coming up to him and was like, what happened? What, what's different? Did you get a, a new rink? Um, you just see it's really just night and day. And it, the, all the, the high school coaches that, that play at this arena were just was, were thrilled. This was a fantastic project as well. Here's a, a large list of all the different project types that we've done. Um, so as you see, it's quite the variety. It could be a warehouse, it could be a retail store, uh, it could be athletic facilities, manufacturing facilities. Our bread and butter, what, what makes a great prospect for us is if it's a, a business with high ceilings, so if it's a warehouse, so it's tough to get that light down to the, the workspace with the high ceilings, but we can accomplish that with our LED lights. Uh, if it's a type of business that could really benefit from having more light. So if it's guys working with their hands that need to be able to see what they're doing. I've had projects in auto shops where the guys were wearing headlamps before we got in there. And afterwards you have some really, you know, some gruff blue, blue collar guys that are just gushing about uh, the quality of the light and just how thrilled they are with uh, the outcome of the project. And then long hours. So if, if longer the hours, the more, the, the customer will save potentially. Uh, so that just means if you have old inefficient lights and you're running them for long hours, then you're just wasting a ton of money. Uh, so that would be gyms, which would be tougher now, <laughs> and parking lots, like I mentioned, because they're on dusk until dawn. About two minutes, Mike. Oh, perfect. Well, and just one more before and after to appease the people. Here's uh, eight weeks versus eight months, uh, Teddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that's it for me for the PowerPoint. How do I unshare? <laughs> I'll take care of it for you. All right, thank All right, you, Michael. Um, yeah, if anyone has any a, questions. Yeah, we have a couple of minutes. If you have questions, jump in, please. I have a question. Uh, um, what's the best way to introduce you? I um, play tennis at a tennis facility with crappy lighting and would love better lighting there. So it would behoove both of us. Yeah, I could. Um, do you play the Stanford one? Is it in Stanford? Uh, New Canaan Racquet Club has horrible oh, okay. lighting. Um, yeah, if you could just pass along my information, I guess, to the, the owner or the, the general manager, whoever handles the facility, uh, that'd be great. Or I could send you a little write-off with some pictures from the last facility we did. 
That would be great. Why don't we do a one-on-one -on -one and we can talk more about it? Yeah, lovely. Perfect. Great. Thanks. Good presentation. That's the way to do it. That's what we do these things for. Get the one-on-ones going and get uh, get the magic mix going. Any other questions quickly before we break, yeah. Michael? Hey, Michael, George. Basically, they have to, it has to be a place where the like you can't just put an LED light in, in in its place. You have to, it's a whole new fixture. No, so we use the existing fixture. So we're not, I'm not talking about the screw and bulbs. It's either the tube lighting um, or the, the high bays or uh, exterior lighting. Um, but yeah, the tube lighting that you see in an office or a, a shop, um, we, we include the, the screw and bulbs, but uh, those are a pretty minor part of the project. But we use the existing fixture as uh, typically. We'd also do new fixtures, but it's usually more cost effective to, to just eliminate the ballast, put in LED tubes and an external driver. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, with that, thank you, Michael. Um, if anybody else uh, has interest or uh, questions for Michael, please get uh, in touch with him to set up a one-to-one. Uh, -one. Uh, and we wish you continued success. Nice job today. Thanks, Michael. Thank you.